it's so exciting for me to be here. We've only been here uh, a few days. But when Bill and Melinda decided to build this campus, I think it reflected their deep commitment to our local work uh, and their deep history here. Uh, the Gates family goes back many generations, and they've led many, many civic endeavors locally. Um, the commitment to be here in the center of the city was a really deliberate one. And the work we do here in Washington State and Seattle is largely focused on families and children. Because our, our fundamental belief here at home is that when kids and their families thrive, the community will thrive as well. And that gets demonstrated in a variety of ways. Uh, we've invested about $3 billion in Washington State since the inception of the foundation. And over a billion dollars has been invested in Washington's families and children and large civic opportunities generally to strengthen our community. In the heart is that million gallon water storage facility right in the center. Um, back towards the south building, there's an additional 750,000 gallon uh, thermal energy storage uh, tank. We collect the water, we cool it at night when electricity is cheap, and we circulate it during the day uh, to cool uh, our equipment, reducing our, our energy costs. These shades are another good example. They're automatically triggered by the amount of sun, and uh, again, reducing the amount of, of uh, artificial light that we need. These are uh, good examples of heat vents. We are heating um, uh, radiant heat, so heat rises. Again, using efficient um, kind of circulation and heat. Uh, we've used drought-resistant plants, and in, a just, in just a moment, you'll see some of the, uh, the, the living roots. You'll also note that these uh, glass panes are really wide, 10-foot wide glass panes, very unusual, but very intentional to let lots of light in. And in Seattle, that's really important. That's been one of the things that um, our employees have commented on the most is how much light there is, which they're loving, obviously. This is also an example of just an informal collaboration space. These, uh, these sofas where people can gather, uh, grab a conversation. These tables, uh, laptops can be um, uh, moved around. Our laptops are our telephones as well, and we can use video conferencing for our phones. So we've designed the campus so you can move around and take your laptops with you. And so it's exciting to be right across from Seattle Center. Last week was a, a big uh, folk life festival. But it also reflects our global mission. And uh, the work here um, reflects that work. And I'll show you a little bit about how that's reflected in the architecture as we walk around today. We've taken on some um, extremely big and challenging goals. Eradicating polio. Making sure that every teacher in America is effective helping transition millions of African smallholder farmers out of poverty. And so we wanted this building and this campus to be emblematic and to reflect those bold goals and the optimism that we have in our work. And I think it does that. It is um, right here in the heart of the city. Uh, we have arms reaching out uh, to every part of the world, uh, but we have our local roots here. And you'll, you'll see that as we go around today. We can't solve all the problems in this state or the world. Uh, hopefully we will do things like eradicate polio. Here at home, we've chosen to focus on some fundamentally important inequities. One is family homelessness. Since the year 2000 and going forward, we will have invested about $100 million in reducing family homelessness by half here in the Seattle metro area. We've already touched the lives of over 2,500 children who otherwise would have been homeless. We also believe fundamentally, though, an opportunity. That is, it's great to help meet the basic needs of kids, their parents, these families, but in the end, it's the education pathway, it's educational attainment, it's strengthening the K-12 system, and it's assuring that every kid in this region is expected to graduate from college. So those are the fundamental priorities of the Pacific Northwest team as we've gone about our work over the last decade or so. It's where we're going to stay focused here. I have to be probably the most excited guy in the whole foundation because the decision to relocate into the heart of Seattle to build this facility for the community is a signal that we are going to be here another hundred years doing the work I've described to you. And I think I do have the best job in the world because I walk outside the building every day and see the people that benefit from our collective work as a community.